Hey everyone, I wanted to give you a quick update. Um, I've done some trial and error here and uh, I just want to give you a rundown of what I've done. Um, I tried the five neutrals and uh, the max I could get was 16 amps uh, with 18 grams of sodium hydroxide and uh, the production was quite poor. I didn't have any heat but production sucked and uh, efficiency was like 2.8 mmw so I went back to four neutrals and uh, the best I could get with four neutrals with three grams of sodium hydroxide would be 3.3 3 at 950 mill, uh, milliliters a minute pretty poor so with the suggestions um, Scarecrow Lab has sent me and much appreciated I tried a piece of vinyl tubing down through the holes in the plates with a slit in it to try and do a little insulation of the holes. Well, that did improve um, production and uh, efficiency by a little bit. Uh, my best, my best uh, numbers here for that would be 19.2 amps at 11.9 volts produced 800 milliliters per minute for an MMW or milliliters per minute per watt um, 3.5 was my best now with other suggestions also from Scarecrow he suggested I recut my gaskets so that my holes are covered only leaving a small slit to allow um, flow through and I've done that and with about 20 hours of labor cutting g new gaskets I've got it up and running and tested today um, with 3 grams of sodium hydroxide 21 amps at 11.8 volts I got uh, 250 milliliters for a total of for an MMW of 3.83 not bad it is quite an improvement over the original design now this is all done at eight with a 12 volt power supply so I thought I'd try high voltage DC so I switched to my variac here and right now it's running at 68 volts at 3 amps now at 68 volts and 3 amps it's 204 watts that maxes out my variac I can't put, go any higher than that it's producing 800 mil liters a minute for an MMW of 3.92 that's a new record for me 3.92 and I think if I raised the, the electrolyte a little higher and maybe pushed a little more wattage into it I could probably get into the low fours um, one other thing I have done to try and maintain a stable temperature of the cell I have a stainless steel coil or a stainless steel tube coil back here behind the cell and I have a fan blowing on it that maintains the temperature constant so that no matter what I do as far as voltage or electrolytes it's always a constant temperature to keep my um, numbers constant anyway um, that's about it um, I will post any more videos if I have something new to share um, Thanks for watching, and uh, like I said, always uh, comments are always welcome. I always look forward to reading them. Thanks, guys. Bye.